two two result tonight. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after going to battle with, with Marshall for, for 110 minutes? I think it's a great advertisement for, for college soccer uh, and again for the state of West Virginia as well. Um, I think it's two the top five teams, quite honestly. I think uh, it was a fair reflection of where we are in the country. Um, and it was a really interesting game. It was a, ta a bit of a tactical battle. Obviously, we know how good they are in possession and we accept that at times they're going to have more of the ball. But I thought we posed, posed a really, really dangerous threat on the counter-attack and were very, very clinical on a couple of occasions. We just need to be a bit better in transition to then have more moments where we establish possession. We did have some spells where we showed that we could keep the ball and that, that we could pin them in a little bit. But, but they're a good team, so it's, it's going to be tricky. Um, but I'm just proud of the players. I really am. I really am. I think, you know, this was a new challenge since my tenure with the program. We've obviously had good results at home against ranked opponents. Um, you know, with the Marshall win previously with Pittsburgh and Penn State earlier in the season, this is the first time we've had to go to someone else's uh, environment um, and, and, and see what we're made of. Um, you know, with respect, Marshall were further along than we are, right? Their credentials for national championships have already been proven. We're trying to get there. We're trying to aspire to, to, to get there. Um, so I'm incredibly proud of the account we gave of ourselves. Uh, and I'm really pleased that I'm sure 3,000 people uh, had a really good time. Everyone that watched it on TV had a really good time watching it. And, and that both teams have done themselves justice. Because obviously, um, Chris is a really good friend as well. Um, and again, I want him success. So it's, it's a strange one to be in a situation where um, you know, you're competing against him and, and, and trying to beat them. But, uh, but no, I think overall, I think it's a fair result. And I think uh, both teams can take a lot of positives from it for sure. You talk about the crowd tonight. Uh, they're lining the, the sidelines, they're everywhere. What was your message to the players coming into an environment? Yeah, quiet them down, quiet them down. Um, understand that it is just noise uh, and, and take it as a compliment, right? This, this occasion, this spectacle, this event tonight, um, maybe doesn't look like this if we're three and three or um, have a losing record or aren't ranked ahead of ahead of Marshall. Maybe it still looks good, but I don't know that it looks quite as good as that. So, um, listen, Marshall deserves the support because they have a fantastic team. But this event took two great teams to put together. Um, so we can we can take a little bit of credit for the fact that there was a huge crowd as well uh, and see it as a compliment, all right? You, you've got people on the sidelines. I'm sure I had one guy in my ear the entire game. He was brilliant. He kept, kept uh, <laughs> quizzing me every time I took a water and at the final whistle, I offered him my drink. So <laughs> that's fun. That's part of the fun, right? Um, but I think as long as the game is played in a respectful manner, uh, which I feel like it was, and, uh, and both, both teams, um, I think, showed that, I wholeheartedly agree, disagree with the, the red card. He claimed that he spat, and that's not who that kid is. I just truly don't believe that's what happened. Um, but as big as the occasion was, it was obviously, yeah, I was honestly a little bit disappointed that, that the referees couldn't match the occasion, that we didn't have a fourth official in a top six matchup, that we don't have someone on the sideline there helping coordinate um, substitutions and things of that nature. That part was a little bit disappointing, but I don't want that to take away from what was a fantastic game. Um, a fantastic event and obviously now that we're in the same conference we're going to continue to see it but we would have anyway because this just makes sense whether it's here in Huntington or, or back in Morgantown uh, this is a great game for the fans uh, and it's two great teams so um, yeah long may it continue. Marshall two goals one off the corner one off the set piece is that about what you expected of them coming in it seems like they've had a lot of success when, when they've had those chances, they just haven't had a whole lot of those chances. Yeah, I mean, my my opinion right now, um, knowing that I haven't seen it back, is that it was a foul on the on the corner, quite honestly. And I'll watch it, and if I'm wrong, no problem. Maybe I'll see it differently. And that it wasn't a foul that led to the free kick for the, for the goal. Having said that, they still had enough chances to score two goals. So by no means am I saying here that they didn't deserve to score two goals or that the, the draw wasn't probably a fair result. In those particular moments, there were some crucial decisions that I think weren't given or were given um, that I didn't necessarily agree with. But uh, listen, that's part of the challenge as well in this environment of, of playing away is that you, you might not get the favourable cause or you might not get um, what you believe is a fair shake of the refereeing decisions um, because of the crowd, because of the environment. And with respect to the referees, they don't have an easy job. And it's not made any easier when there's 3,000 people yelling from about eight feet off the, off the side of the pitch. So. Um, Again, I, I think it was a fair result. I think they'll take some positives, and I, and I know we will for sure. You guys come out with a draw. Who buys the beer? You or Chris? <laughs> <laughs> he won a national championship, so it's definitely Chris. It's definitely Chris. No, we'll, listen, we'll, we'll probably both talk to one another. Um, when we played in the spring, we were honest and open enough to share each other's scout. Um, 
and we'll make each other better that way. You know, he's a he's a, a really good friend, a really really good friend, and I enjoy the fact that when he came to Morgantown, we did go for a beer. We, you know, he, I come to Huntington, I'm his guest yesterday, so uh, we thought about sitting in the stands and just enjoying the game from there. And <laughs> I know the concessions were selling beers, and we were joking around, but uh, no, look, this is a this is a great event, a great spectacle, and. Um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, to, to revisiting it a year from now. That's all I got.